Hey everybody, Chris from Almost Adventurous here. I uh, just want to do a super short review of another Patagonia hat. Um, Patagonia makes a ton of hats. A lot of them are incredibly popular uh, and I own quite a few of them myself. Uh, but this is one that I am going to be getting rid of uh, even though it is a super popular hat. Um, this is the duckbill running hat here. Um, yeah, this is a super popular hat. I've seen them go for a lot of money on the secondhand market, especially when they weren't making them for a while uh, during COVID and whatnot. Uh, this one is a mango color. I actually really like the color. Um, it is considered a running hat. I totally get the appeal. Uh, it can like fold down into nothing. Look at this. And then it folds right back out and your bill's not all smushed up or anything like that. Um, I originally bought this uh, and I was using it while running for a little bit, but then I shaved my head completely and these mesh holes here were no bueno for the sun coming in. In fact, one time I went running and came back and my head looked kind of like a golf ball from all the sunburn that was coming through this mesh. Obviously, I don't have that problem now because I have a lot of hair again. Um, but for me, the thing I don't like about it is the bill, uh, which is what a lot of people like. So here's, here's what it looks like on profile view. And for me, you can flip up the bill. For me, the bill just isn't enough for me. Um, I don't need a hat like as big as some of the other duck bill hats from Patagonia, which are like, have this huge bill. I need something in between. So that's why I ended up selling it. I'm gonna have to package this up here pretty soon and uh, ship it off. And so that's why I wanted to give a quick review. Um, it's comfortable, it's adjustable, easily adjustable. And I think it looks okay. Let me show you what I have replaced it with. So similar mesh. This one is actually from the brand Howler Brothers. Um, and uh, similar mesh, similar uh, fabric up front as well. I do like the colors a lot more. Teal and purple are my favorite color combinations. So this one's 65% nylon and 35% polyester. But when you throw it on, you have a lot more of a bill protecting you uh, from the sun and it just works for me for running a, quite a bit better that way. Uh, very similar, uh, actually like ident almost identical uh, ways of fastening it, getting it nice and snug and I do run with it on backwards quite a bit too and that way it just kind of keeps the sweat from dripping down into my eyes. Um, you could do that with the Patagonia as well. Throw that on backwards. In fact, I used to run with this backwards a lot. But again, like hardly any sun protection. So, like I said, the Patagonia Duckbill, um, it's great for its portability. Uh, it just, it's not going to protect you from the sun a whole lot. The mesh doesn't protect you from the sun. This little front panel is really small and like just compared side by side to the Howard brothers like look at how much more sun protection you're getting from this other hat here and you're getting the same mesh fabric so it's just as breathable in my opinion uh at least for my use case um i've probably run a little bit more in the patagonia one to be honest with you uh but so far this style is more me um in fact, I think that all of the running hats from Patagonia are kind of a miss. Uh, I've never bought the bigger duckbill one because it just it looks kind of ridiculous on me. Um, but I know that's a super popular one for some people. There's a shorter uh, duckbill, and then there's this one, um, and then there's the Air Dini, which I did a review already for on this channel. I sold that one as well. Lightweight, yes, um, but as far as like the balance between sun protection and looks and lightweight breathable they just seem to hit the miss the mark a little bit for me um so if you're like i am and you use hats like this to run a lot 
and this just isn't quite enough for you, I would check out the Howler Brothers one, honestly. Uh, I think it looks great. It isn't one that looks ridiculous, like walking around town. I'm sorry, but this one just looks, it almost looks like a cycling hat. It doesn't look, looks kind of funny if you're just wearing it walking around town and stuff like that. Um, so if you're just picking up a hat just to wear, I definitely wouldn't recommend that one. Um, but if the key thing for you is how lightweight it can get and how portable it can get, uh, I could see where this one will be, come in the most handy. Hopefully that was a helpful little quick review. Um, like I said, I'm selling this one. Actually, I already sold, so I got to get it out in the mail today. Um, ultimately, I would choose the Howler Brothers over the Patagonia hat. My thoughts? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for watching.